This title screen is a very interesting mix of very bad aesthetic design and also really good aesthetic design. Let's just uh, get started so that I can give you a sense of what we're in for here. Sagan 4. Sagan 4. Sagan for days. That's me. High gravity. Hold L trigger to drop. Release to fly. High gravity. Hold to drop. Release. I don't understand. Wait. Sorry, sorry. Right. High gravity. Hold to drop. Release to fly. When? When? Now? Hold to drop. Release to fly. Oh, okay. Hold to drop. Release to fly. Wow. Glide. Glide. <gasps> Oh my god. I am going to adore this game. Here we go. We're going to go off this big crazy thing. Ah! Ah! I'm going so f***ing fast! This is an excellent idea for a video game. Whoever made it is a genius. It seems like there is something of a story, but what it is is that... Um... Space aliens from Mars came and gave humans this marble toy and they were like F you can fly it and the humans were like there's no how do you get in and they were like don't worry about it and then we didn't worry about it and now we have a marble that flies at a thousand feet per second and now everyone in humanity lives inside a marble and just vibes and flies around because when you're in the marble you don't have to eat you don't have to think you don't you don't have you don't worry about experiencing love and lust anymore the marble has all the answers. Marble Blast meets Tetris Effect meets Flower. Those are my current pull points for this. Can I stop? What if I just want to stop? Stop and enjoy the ambiance. Oh, the ambiance is scary. Oh, the ambiance is not to be enjoyed. Keep moving. Sometimes things that are beautiful are not meant to be stopped and looked at. It's a good lesson for your love life, kids. Sometimes you just just should whiz by them and enjoy their beauty, but don't don't try to hold on to it because if you do stop, you're gonna look around and realize that actually uh, it's terrifying and you don't want anything to do with it. I guess I'm gonna head towards this giant stunning energy source with a bunch of math. I don't want anything to do with math. Was this the Matrix? Ah, Jupiter. Jupiter, no. Jupiter, please don't hurt me. Jupiter, no. Jupiter, leave me alone. Mom, I'm having the Jupiter dreams again. Oh, God, no. What's the ones where you're flying around as a marble and then Jupiter starts to intimidate you? Yeah, I hate those dreams. Oh, God, I hate the Jupiter dreams. The only part I don't like about this game so far are these parts where they try to make me think about this human family. These people, they went to Jupiter, and then they, you know, got high on Jupiter's Jupiter gas, and then inhabited a marble, and turns out they all just got crushed by Jupiter's pressure squished inside somebody's space helmet or something, I don't know. Oh no, not Jupiter again! <laughs> oh god! Oh god, I can't get Jupiter out of my head! Uh, that's funny. Uh, I like that. They keep talking about Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. 90% of the mass of the solar system doesn't make you more important, but fine, I get it. Just because one of your family members is a lot bigger than the others doesn't mean, you know, you're not, the love we give you and the attention we give you is not proportional to your weight or your mass. God damn. This is a pretty game. Place your bets now. What is going on in this game? I have a feeling that this marble represents, like, me dying or something silly. You know, like one of those games where it's like, oh, he was dead the whole time. And his stupid brain thought he was trapped in a marble when really the marble just represented his rigor mortis. I'm gonna say it. I think this game's pretty astonishing. 
I think it's pretty rad. Yo, oh my God. All right, I feel like I have to blur this whole thing because it's so tight that it would not be fair for me to show it to you. But dude, oh my God, this has got to be one of the prettiest. Wow. All right, I'm gonna show it to you for just a moment, but I'm warning you, it's really beautiful. Are you ready? All right, ready? Three, two, one. Look! All right, did you like it? All right, X01. You can see Achievement Unlocked, I just beat the game. Congrats to me. Now, I think obviously I'm a very good target audience for this game. I am kind of a, you know, I'm one of those dudes who like, if I see a good skybox, I'm like, oh my God, and this game is kind of full of them. It's a little rough around the edges. The menus aren't quite perfect. The credits were a little bit uneven, but it's totally brimming with, with, uh, uh, just beauty. So anyway, all that said, I give X01 a two out of two. Congratulations, X01, on the big score. You know, not everyone gets a two out of two. Uh, so you did good.